Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmate. In our last video, we created a C -sharp script to rotate the wheels of the tank whenever we move left or right. Link to that video will be on screen and in the description below. Just a quick reminder, the end result of this series will look something like this. Where you can move left and right with animations, you can jump, you can also aim the cannon up and down, as well as shooting the bullets in the direction of the cannon. Also, when the bullets come in contact with the ground, they explode. The animation was created by another member of the team. In today's video, we're going to be using the Animations tab to animate our tread, and then with a C Sharp script, link that animation to our tank's movement. The difficulty of today's video is the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. The assets we'll be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The link will be in the description below. So to animate the tread, we want to first make sure that the animation tab is open. If not, you can go to Windows and then click Animation. You can also use the shortcut Control 6. To create the animation, you have to first select the object that you want to animate. In this case, it's the tread object. And then you go to the animation tab and then click Create. So I'm going to call this animation tread underscore anim and I'm going to save this into the animations folder. So what we're going to do is change the sprite property of the sprite render. So I'm going to click add property then click the arrow next to sprite renderer scroll across a bit uh, you'll see these plus symbols go all the way down to sprite and click the plus. So what this has done is added two keyframes to the animation. One at the first frame and one at frame 60. We don't really need the last frame so I'm going to delete that. So what we want to do is add the rest of our tread sprites to the animation. So I'm going to go into our sprites folder, our tank folder and our tread anim folder and we want to add the rest of our sprites in there. So I'm just going to click and drag our animation tab and snap it just above our projects folder. And then I'm going to select all our sprites except from the first one. And to do that, you select the first one. And then if you hold shift and then click the last one, uh, it selects the rest of them. Then what I want to do is click and drag our sprites into our animation and place it just next to the first frame. Now I'm just going to zoom in a bit more. And if I press play, we now have our animation. So that's our animation sorted. What I'm going to do now is create a C Sharp script to link that animation to our tank's movement. So I'm going to go to our assets folder, go into our scripts folder, and then right click, create C Sharp script. And I'm going to call this tread underscore animation. So I'm going to open that up. Uh, get rid of all this and what we want to do is create an animator variable so animator and I'm going to call this anim and then if we go back to unity and select our tread we will want that animator variable to access our animator component so to do that we first access the start function and what it does it runs that bit of code that's inside that uh, function at the start of your game so void start with a capital s brackets curly brackets and what we want to do is say that anim is equal to get component greater than and less than symbol and we want to access the animator component and then we do brackets and semicolon. So what that's now doing is our animator variable is now accessing our animator component. So the next thing we've got to do is access the fixed update function. So void fixed update brackets curly brackets. And what we want to do is access our move buttons. So float move and that's going to equal input dot get axis brackets quotations and we want to access the horizontal axis so horizontal and semicolon so next we want to create an if statement so if move is equal to zero 
we want our animation speed to be zero. And then we create another one for when it's uh, less than or greater than zero, we want our animation speed to be one. So if brackets move is equal to zero, we want our animation speed, so anim dot speed to equal zero. And finally, we need to create an if statement uh, for when move is not equal to zero. So if brackets move is less than zero, or if move is greater than zero, we want our animation speed to be one. So anim dot speed is equal to one and semicolon. So we've got two if statements. So if move is equal to zero, anim speed is equal to zero. And we also got if move is less than zero or if move is greater than zero, anim speed is equal to one. So for our last if statement, there is a shorter way of uh, typing this. So we could do if move is less than zero or if move is greater than zero, but we can also do if move is not equal to zero, and in speed is equal to one. And that's exactly the same thing. So I'm going to save that. So control S, uh, go back to unity with our tread selected. I'm going to click and drag our tread animation script to our inspector. And then I'm going to apply those changes to our tank prefab. So all we've got to do now is test our game. So I'm going to click play. Just going to move our animation tab over here and now if i move left and right our tread now animates so that's all we got for today's video feel free to tune back next time we'll be creating our aim mechanic for the tank if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on unity 3d my name is joshua mutu and thanks for watching